Tony, when you watch uh, when you watch Ezekiel Elliott now, you as a running backs coach, what do you see that stands out about him <coughs> more than anything else? What sets him apart? Well, I, you know, I've said this before. I think that uh, his complete game, you know, his ability, what he does when the ball's not in his hands. Um, if you watch him go and block on the perimeter, you watch him pass protect. Um, he's he's a force to be reckoned with out there too, and 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 I think the thing that stands out the most, like I said, is his entire game is is he's playing at a high level. Uh, was Saturday as as big a t I mean, five carries in a row, seven carries out of four, out of eleven plays in that one drive. You know, uh, was that just a challenge to him too? I mean, how did y'all how did you approach that from the standpoint of putting the team kind of on your back? Well, it wasn't uh, that that wasn't the. That was, yeah, that wasn't the deal. So, hey, let's put it on your back. I mean, we're, we're, that was the flow of what we're doing. And, and again, he's a highly competitive guy. Um, and no, I mean, he's always asking for the ball. Don't get me wrong. I mean, he's always asking for it. But, I mean, I, I think the same could be said true, held true for, you know, TD and Taylor Decker and the offensive line. This is what your job is. This is what we called. Go execute the plays that we called. And, um, and, and he does that. And, and he is, a, again, he's a highly competitive player, highly competitive individual. Um, so to give him the ball that many times isn't I mean, it's not like we're asking him to do something out of the out of the norm or something he'd want to do Third row right here Andy coach uh, as Zeke continues his climb up the record books um, I mean have you noticed a, a difference in attitude as far as him running the football um, And has that kind of changed your guys mentality as far as the game? no uh, Zeke's pretty consistent and, and I think that's the one thing that really makes him special um, I think if you were to go through the course of time and if you to look at, at players, if you want to use the term great players, there's a consistency about them. And it's not the ebb and flows and the highs and lows and on the roller coaster, if you will. He's a consistent guy. And, and rather it's game one against Virginia Tech to, to game 10. Um, he's been pretty consistent in, in how his approach has been. Um, but again, that's, what, that's again what makes him different than a lot of people. There's never, there aren't the highs and the lows. When he comes to play, he comes to play, no matter who it is and where it's at. Uh, front row, uh, <coughs> Uh, <clears throat> Zeke's average, I think, 22 carries per game. Um, yeah. Workload for any running back, but specifically with him, how much do you monitor that? How much does that impact the back through the course of the season? And, and do you like where you're at with Zeke's workload going into these last couple games here? Yeah, knock on wood, it's a good question. Um, He's he's still probably playing a few more reps than than I would like him to play, and that's that's on me. That's 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 strictly on me, not Coach Meyer or Ed or or anybody else. It's hard it's hard to pull him out of a game though, you know. When you're looking at a guy that I I'm, I'm biased, I mind you, but you're looking at a guy that I believe is the best player in the country. Um, it's hard to it's hard for me to pull him out because I'm like I keep him in the game, you know, and because he has to be accounted for wherever he's at. Um, what you do, you have to. Be, we have to be cognizant of what's going on with him as, as far as his body and his health, and particularly in the, throughout the body of practices and, and throughout the course of the week. Um, had to be very cognizant of how we're using him, how much I'm running him. But he's pretty good about telling me kind of how he feels, especially throughout the week, how he's feeling and things of that nature. So I feel you have to back some things off of him and, and um, limit limit some things that he does throughout the course of the week. We do. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's definitely something we got to continue to keep a hold keep a hold on. You know, you've called it Tote Nation since the start, right, since you got here? I called it. Isn't Tote Nation that? <laughs> yeah, the guys came up with that one, though. Yeah. Are there – what is Tote Nation? Carrying the ball, Tote, carrying the football, um, the Ohio State Nation, you know, uh, Buckeye Nation. So that's something that I think actually our intern, Sean Buckley, was talking about it to our players. And uh, they got these wristbands made up that we wear. And um, that's something I think – I actually think Mike Weber came up with it. And that guy's kind of took to it, and you know, that's something they've kind of taken to, so I let them run with it. I'm not that, I'm not that, <laughs> I don't have that much creativity in my mind. We got zone six, we got some other Yeah, those are creative guys. I'm, I'm boring. <laughs> Front row, I bet. Yes, sir. Speaking of, speaking of Mike Weber, uh, how is his health? And at this point in the season, given not wanting to burn a red shirt at this point, how reluctant would you be to play him? Well, his health is good. He's, he's doing fine. He's, he's at 100%. He's, he's looked really really well running around throughout the course of the past few weeks. Um, you know, and I, I don't want to say who we would pull a red shirt. I, I'm not, that's not completely my call. I mean, I, mean, I know this. If Mike Weber is, if Mike Weber's ever needed to, to help us win a football game, 
and, and he's there to do that, and he's capable and willing to do that if if need be. So, um, you know, we'll cross those bridges when we get there. But but if need be he, to win a game, we would definitely use him, as if we'd use anybody else. And what are your just general impressions of the Michigan State defense? Extremely well coached, really good players. Um, play at a high rate they have for a long time. It's not like it's you know new to them to be having the successes that they've had. Um, they've been good for many many years and. This is this is the same type of defense once again. They're they're a very very good football team and a really good defensive unit. And last question, uh, fourth row left, Eric. You know you talked about how Zeke, in your opinion, the best player in the country, and you have all this talent behind him. You know, is there with how many carries he's getting? Is there kind of a balance as far as like you want to get some of these guys young young guys touches to prepare for next year in case you know, Zeke goes to the NFL? You know, what kind of how difficult is that balance? When you're 10 or no, that it is what it is, you know. And, and again, we're here to win football games, and um, by any means necessary. And, and our guys in that room, we they know that, so we do have those conversations. Guy, here's what we're doing. Here's why we're doing it. Um, and guys have bought in, and I think that's what you get when you have an unselfish football team, and you have a culture that's been built where guys they 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 know their roles, they accept the roles that they're in at that time. Doesn't mean they're not striving to get better, but everyone's got a role. And, it, and at this juncture, 10 weeks in, as we're getting to week 11, everyone's, their roles, they know what their roles are. And, and again, if, if need be, we'll, we'll, we'll do what we need to do to win football games. And, and so the guys in, in my room, and I would like to say across the football team, uh, they, they kind of taking heat to, okay, here's what I got to go, go, here's what I got to go do. And when I'm called upon to do something different, and, um, the, the, and my job description changes, then, then I'll change accordingly.